doing get ready with me although i will say it's a lot less makeup focused i'm probably gonna be talking about random shit the entire video i've been doing my makeup since i was like i don't know like 12 or something but it's still not particularly good by any means like i just do what i think looks good when i'm doing my makeup it comes across as like um what the fuck are you doing but i think it looks fine at the end so example of what my makeup skills are like is i've had this brush for six years and the rest of it's gone but i don't actually have another eyeshadow brush so this is what we be using mm -hmm. but yeah i'm just gonna get ready and do my makeup and i'm just gonna do like what i usually do because i don't have that much time to get ready and i know if i need to be somewhere if i need to like meet someone it's definitely not the day to like scroll on pinterest for like 15 minutes and then buy like makeup inspo that i want to recreate and then spend like 45 minutes doing that bad things start happening i've already done my moisturizer and sunscreen even though it's the middle of winter right now still wear sunscreen because you know i'm really pale and i have gotten sunburned in the middle of winter before but i'm just doing concealer now and i don't like really wear foundation or anything because honestly i don't think that like my skills are good enough like whenever i put on foundation it always looks kind of like cakey and just like crusted and weird and stuff but if it did look good then that's another thing i just put some concealer under my eyes because i have very dark eye bags <coughs> and i'm just doing powder like right underneath my eyes because i have like these eye creases underneath and my concealer always creases a lot but i just put on powder and hopes that like it'll do something sweating i sound like a dad like the noises i be making i sound like a middle-aged man my energy my aura is like middle-aged man i saw this tweet and it was like i'm like if a girl was like an uncle and i kind of like relate to that though because i feel like i give those vibes like i you can't tell me i don't be given uncle right now um i was going to say though that give me a fucking second i don't really do eyeshadow like up here or anything like on my lids like where you usually put eyeshadow because i don't know if it's just because my brushes aren't that good but i feel like it looks really patchy and i'm just not that good at eyeshadow oh i hit my palette what i just did was i like put like kind of like an orange red eyeshadow like right underneath my eye here and then i put like a light brown on the outside of it it is this brown at the end and then i use this kind of like reddish orange color and i've had these palettes since i started doing makeup in like 2018 i just use like an angled brush and this like dark brown because i used to be someone who was on my liquid eyeliner grind and back in like 2020 2021 i every day i would have winged eyeliner i would be doing my inner corners as well i'll try and find a photo of what it looked like I had like big fucking lashes as well, like all the time, which don't get me wrong, I think it looked really good. I loved doing my makeup like that, but I just feel like now I just prefer doing it like this. Like it's one, it's easier. Anyways, I just use brown eyeshadow and an angled brush and I kind of just do my eyeliner with this. You'll see what I mean. I don't know if you can really see it much, but I just kind of, instead of doing wings, I just kind of do it like out a bit. And I do, I just darken the eyeshadow underneath my eye in the outer corner just a bit. Again, it does not really make that much of a difference, but 
it's noticeable to me so and then i just highlight my inner corners and i used to use the highlighter this one from the etude house peach farm palette but it doesn't really like i know there's still some left in there but like none of it really comes off when i try to use it but that's literally like the best highlighter i've ever used and i mean that etude house and k beauty in general it's where it's at but because that doesn't work anymore i just use the one from this bow the one from this palette um i'm just gonna do my blush now do not say anything about the packaging okay my friend got it from etude house in korea and i know etude house always has like a lot of collaborations with like other brands or like characters and like that kind of thing this is the blush i use most of the time it's cute and it's fun and it's actually a really good blush but it's like um it's cushion blush instead of powder and as someone who has mostly dry skin i know you can't tell because of the um grease on my nose and my forehead because it's so shiny the the brightness the shine the reflection off of it just blurs out the rest of my face but my skin is mostly dry so i feel like when i do use powder blushes sometimes it makes my skin look more dry this is where i'd be using most Anyways, um, I try to just put it like pretty close to my eyes and my face is kind of getting red because I'm smacking it so you can't really tell, but I try to put it close to my eyes and then a bit higher up on the cheekbone and I bring it down to my cheeks a bit, but I kind of try to like keep it concentrated more up here just because my face is like very round, so... I feel like if I put it on the like very center of my cheek or like concentrate it there, it just makes my face look even more like round moon emoji kind of vibe. And I just prefer putting it like on my cheekbones, you know. I'm actually not gonna put on any mascara today because I know that I'm gonna be too lazy to take off my mascara later. Setting spray now. <clears throat> By the way, someone is playing Backstreet Boys songs next door, so apologies if you can hear that. I'm kind of thinking of like tying like ribbon onto this, like these belt loops on my jeans. I don't know if that would look fun though or not. I'm trying to see on my tiptoes. Oh my god, I'm so short and tiny, you can't even see me in the frame right now. I'm actually not. I'm a five foot seven mammoth Eastern European woman. So I am in fact beating the pick me allegations today. Okay, is it giving though? Okay, we saved it. It's good. It's fine. A fucking silverfish hiding in my tampons. Guys, this isn't funny. I'm scared. I forgot to say it before, but today I'm actually going thrifting. Not for anything interesting, but because I need to get a long sleeve thermal for when I go camping next weekend. And I'm also gonna get pho later, so 